Merry Christmas From the bottom of my heart To a world that's always changing Like a living work of art And when Elon Musk Finds his way through the stars I wanna be the first to wish you on Mars It'll be a little colder than the earthly winter months but it's 48.6 million miles further from the sun that'll be expected it'll be on the brochure for this nine month one way journey not some casual three hour tour yeah I'd like to see the professor build a Mars habitat out of coconuts and palm fronds Bruno and Veronica and Mick from Motley Crue all Mars Obviously be there As well as Little Rover too We'll make angels in the red sand And go sledding on the dunes And the Christmas meal will feature Sweet potatoes that we've raised Using fertilizer that we've made From Matt Damon's poo Like a B-rate Hollywood movie Or a cheap musical comedy sketch Even, Even if the moon landing Was a fabricated farce Utilized to bankrupt Russia By keeping its focus on the stars Instead of manufacturing nuclear arms And thus arresting the communist march And now a billionaire that builds electric cars Wants to colonize and terraform the face of Mars Are we sure this is the guy we want leading the charge? Then again, Elon might actually have the drive and means to get us there. I mean, he's like a real-life Peter Whelan, you know, the founder of Whelan Industries in the Ridley Scott Prometheus slash Alien film series. Then again, those films, while visually brilliant, projected a pretty bleak outlook on mankind's abilities to sustain itself. Then again, Musk doesn't really share the same views on artificial intelligence that Whelan had, which is what ultimately proved fatal to nearly every character in those stories, so there's that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I'm rambling, so yeah, yeah. kind of got off on a political sci-fi rant there. Let's, mm -hmm. um, let's try that part over again, shall we? Yes, thank you. So, so Merry Christmas From the bottom of my chest To a world that's getting so woke We gotta go to Mars to rest Bring in my Snuggie! And, and even, even if, if the moon landing Was a fabricated farce When the earth gets too harsh and that first shuttle embarks You can sure bet your arse You will be seen